everybody and welcome to Wine Library TV. I am your host, Gary Day Nur Chuck, and this, my friends, is the Thunder Show, AKA the internet's most passionate wine program. I'm happy to be here, Mott. It's a Monday, you're a little bit closer. You guys might notice, a little bit closer. I like this, I feel like, I feel like I can get there. Um, it's good to see you guys. It's great to be back in the Thunder Saddle. Um, I'm very excited about doing uh, Tarantis, a varietal I'm very passionate about. Uh, recent DNA uh, testing has found out that it's uh, related to uh, Malvasia, uh, which is a, a great little grape varietal from the Mediterranean, Italy, Spain. Uh, Malvasia is a very aromatic grape, makes sense. Um, and it's a wine that's doing a lot of damage in Argentina, so we're gonna taste three wines, great price points on this Monday, some value play. Um, but before I start the show, um, Several months ago, and you'll see by the video, Matt, we're gonna link this up, but can you make it pop up as well in the vid player for me? Um, uh, Crushitcharity.com, I think that's it, uh, for the Crush It song. We have a song for my book, and the proceeds, if you buy on iTunes or Amazon, goes to uh, building huts in Haiti, and obviously, I taped this months ago, and now, honestly, a lot has happened in that country, so really hope you guys check it out. There's a video with me and Matt in it that is pretty much the funniest thing you've ever seen. Literally, you are about to laugh your ass ass off. So please click that link and watch it. I'm almost debating even starting the uh, starting today's episode with it as a pre-roll, so I'll talk to you about that. Mott, you have to. We've, we chest bump, Mott. We chest bump. Um, anyway, that end, um, a lot of you are part of the uh, Cinderella community. Uh, please check out Cinderella Wine tonight. Very fun offer. If you're into very serious wine and looking for an opportunity tonight, is the night, check it out, leave a comment, be part of that. A lot of fun stuff happening on Cindy. Wild weekend on Cindy Mott. Um, so, uh, let's talk about Argentina. Very hot country right now in the wine world, probably the, uh, oh by the way, no idea why the bit of honey is here. Um, very hot country in general. Um, you know, uh, a, a place that is uh, producing amazing wines and, uh, and really has been making a name for itself with Malbec and uh, and Malbec is clearly the, this, you know, 2009's Pinot Noir. It was a breakout year for that varietal. And along with the Malbec train came Tarantis, uh, a white wine varietal that's very easy to drink. Uh, we're getting, you know, we're hoping that spring is going to come here eventually, Mott. It's been snowing a crap load here. Um, and uh, it, it's a varietal we've done on the show before. Uh, it is now roughly about 35% of all white wines sold in, um, Ar in Argentina. So it's become vastly popular. It's used in Chile uh, and Peru to make pisco, uh, P-I-S-C-O, the liqueur. If you've ever had that, it uses this uh, grape. Um, about 15,000 hectares are now planted um, in Argentina, maybe even a little bit more. That was last counts, uh, maybe a year ago, of Tarantes. And uh, nobody really knows how Tarantes got to Argentina, though there's a lot of speculation that it is uh, some Spanish colonists that were on a missionary. So that's a little fun fact about the varietal. Uh, very crisp, clean, 8, 10, 12, very well-priced wines. And I think we should get right into it. Uh, Urban Uco, uh, 2009. Oh, by the way, I think this is a full-pledged 2009 tasting. Yes, it is. You know, they're, they're Southern Hemisphere, they're six months ahead in growing season. 2009's, my friend. It's 09 Tarantes time. Uh, Urban Uco, 2009 Tarantes. Uh, this wine is eight US dollars. And uh, let's see what's going on here about tasting this wine. How's that look in the, look at that for me. Let's see how that looks in the, uh, oh yeah, it's right there. Everything's right there now. Um, sniffy sniff. So these wines are so aromatic. Smell this mod. I mean, this really smells like you're walking through like Victoria's Secrets or like the perfume shop in the mall. I mean, they just smell so much like a female. This is not a masculine smell, Ma. Did you have a nice Valentine's Day? Yeah. You guys, you guys go out, do you do your thing? Next weekend. You guys do the whole like next week thing? That's pretty cool. Before, Seriously? Either we go before or after. Why? You, you guys do not like the chaos. It's, the, it's impossible to get a reservation too. That's a very good point. Um, Lizzie and I went out Saturday night now with little Misha. You know, we have a sitter on Saturdays but not Sundays. It changes the game, man. It changes the game. So you agree, right? Very aromatic. I mean, you saw it made me think of Valentine's Day. It's a very feminine kind of approach. Smells like soaps. I would sell this, you know, say this, very soapy, uh, very, you know, very crisp, very clean. Ooh, see what happens there? I get excited. Let's give it a whirl. Mm. 
nice acidity, um, light apple core flavors coming through. And I say core because I get some of the pits. There's a little bitterness, a little greenness coming through on this wine, which I'm kind of meh about. You know, it's kind of thin, a little bit of alcohol coming through on the back end. Really does taste like perfume because I taste the alcohol. Um, the Urban Uco is not the uh, the most exciting start to uh, Tarantis that I've ever had. You know, built up, got everybody excited. You know, Spanish colonists at 15,000 acres, hectares, excuse me, hectares. You know, everybody's getting pumped. Let's see, good value, yay, $8. No, boo, $8. This wine starts off this uh, this uh, 2009 Tarantis tasting with a very kind of meh effort. I'm gonna score this wine 82 points, give it a pass, save your eight bones, load up on those 32 quarters, and go play Mortal Kombat 7 or something because this wine is a pass. All right, not what I really wanted to see, but it is what it is. It is what it is. La Junta Tarantis 2009 um, from Argentina. Uh, from the Fantina Valley, which has been getting some press. Uh, it's from La Rioja, uh, Argentina, not to be mixed up with Rioja in Spain. This one is, woo, this is clear. I mean, this is like, this is like bottled water clear. This is crystal clear. I mean, this is like crystal light. What was it, Linda Evans? Wow, she was big. Dynasty was big, Mott. Yes, it was. Sniffy sniff. smell a little minerality. There's a little ocean up my nose right now, and that's okay. Also kind of like white peaches. There's something coming through there, Mom. I'm passing it on to you, hoping that you can come through for the Vayner Nation for once in your life. <laughs> hey, my well, now the pressure's on now. Are you getting anything? That, it seems like some sort of common thing that I've had. Um, anything coming through? Lemon rind? It does definitely, ha it definitely has a lemon limey kind of, th you said lemon rind for everybody, just like the, you know, that kind of, but it definitely has a little bit of a Sprite plate, but it's kind of stinky. Mm -hmm. Do you get like, you know, uh, you know, I'm now being like subconscious, you know, self-conscious about this, not subconscious, self-conscious about this. There's a part of me that wants to go like, in a weird way, dirty diaper, but not the poop, more like just the diaper, it almost smells like, I'm getting new smells, guys. Um, by the way, formula is this formula. When I get formula on me, I'm like, I like freak. I like freak. I feel like I'm like the Wicked Witch of the West getting water. I'm like freaking to get formula on me. And nothing freaks me out. There's a little melon play. I feel like a little cantaloupe, if that makes any sense. Maybe cantaloupe with a little lemon spl splash on it. Very fresh, tropical. You know, definitely makes me think of like, you know, inexpensive tropical vacation. You know, when you're like 19 and you go to the Bahamas, you're not staying at the Ritz, you know? And you're getting the all-inclusive 400 bones and you get there and there's a turtle in your room. That's kind of what's going on on this, how do you like that? And that's kind of what's going on on this wine. Let's give it a whirl. Hmm. That being said, it definitely has a significant palate uh, presence, P squared. Um, I'm really excited about this fresh, acidic, I almost get like cucumber. I feel like I'm on Martha Stewart's show and we're doing like cucumber, lettuce, um, papaya water. She's like, you know Gary, the best way is, you know, water is boring. Let's chop up some papaya, little lettuce, and a little cucumbers. Now try this. Delicious, Martha, I like it. Go out and buy Crush It. You know, so like, I feel like this is a really well-made um, $10 bottle of wine. I can see a lot of people popping, ooh, not popping, screwing and hanging out by the pool, <laughs> screw topped off and hanging out by the pool, drinking this wine at the Hamptons and not feeling bad because they spent $98 to go, you know, to the park or $74 on their sandwich, but they can save on their bottle of wine because my friends, this is a very well played, very value driven $10 bottle of wine that I'm gonna score 89 points on. Like it a lot, definitely if you can find the La Junta uh, Tarantes in your neighborhood. Who's putting this in? SWG, I'm not even Southern Wine Group. Southern Wine Group? I'm, I'm not sure. If that's Southern Wine and Spirits, no, they're from Oregon. Anyway, 
If you can find this value, 10 bones, one of the more interesting, crisp, clean white wines, a lot of flavor going on. This is not a pushover, it's got good flavors. Curious what your palate is, Mott, on this wine. Um, that was a fun review. That was like old school a little bit there. There was a lot going on in that review. I feel like that review's got a chance to be on a highlight reel. <laughs> what do you think? It's not bad. You like that? Yeah. Not bad, right? Pretty Refreshing. good. Absolutely. Pool, you know, wiffle ball. They're hanging out with the, you know, dart, lawn darts, you know, sack. I mean, they're playing a lot of games now. Um, total spring, summer uh, party wine. I think a lot of people should go out and find this. It's not going to hurt the bank. Maybe it's 12 to 13 bones by you because, you know, wine limbs prices are tough to beat. Uh, but um, check that out. Good wine. Very excited about that. And finally, Susanna Balbo. She is the lady. Uh, Crios, 2009, from Argentina. 90 points. Jay Miller, 12 US dollars. Big score for a $12 wine. And, um, you know, big score. Big pour. Ooh, that rhymes. Um, so obviously this is dramatically the darkest of the three. We just went from something that was almost, you know, like water colored to a much darker, deeper, almost Chardonnay-like color scheme. Uh, let's give a sniffy sniff. Man, these are so intriguing. These guys, the guys, these are so aromatic. I mean, if you are into the, you know, candle aromas, uh, candle therapy, uh, massage, spa, you know, kind of stuff, I'm telling you, you can win them over just in the bouquet of these wines. White flower coming through for me. Uh, get guava on the nose. Kiwi. Little sugar cane. Smell that, Mott. I mean, it's very aromatic. I like this closer camera, Mott. You're closer. It's easier to hand you the glass. What do you think, though, right? I mean, very, you know, aromatic. Yes. You know, kind of like a 16-year-old girl's room. You know? You know, kind of just smells good. Let's give it a whirl. Made myself laugh. 16 year old girl's room or like 20 year old dude stoner's room who's trying to get the smell out of his room. Um, very high in acid compared to the last two wines, which is a good thing. I get a great lime play on this. If you are a fan of lime, lime, you will love this wine. This wine's very, 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 very green. I get almost like frise, lettuce kind of flavors on the mid palate, I'm not kidding. Um, it's got a great finish, creamy in some ways. Even though I don't think there's an oak thing, but there's like, creamy's not the right word. It's a little bit more chewy, um, not the right word. It's just thicker than the uh, last couple of wines, so there's a little viscosity to the palate. There was a big upset in the Daytona 500 yesterday. I don't know if you follow NASCAR, I don't, but I just never heard of the guy, so people are pumped. I have no idea. Oh. I'm sure somebody will comment. Um, by the way, huge new thing. You know, being a good person, the comment section is blowing up, Mod. I'm, I'm sure you've noticed. I adore the people that are liking each other's comments. Please keep doing that because I'm, I don't know if you noticed, your little face shows up. We've got some back end data. I think there should be a time where we do the right thing by the people that are, you know, kind and spreading love. Maybe we should spread love to the people that spread love. I love the conversations. Have you been noticing? Some badass stuff going on in there. Great conversations. Learning a thing or two myself. I'm really enjoying it. Um, please keep the commenting going. And lurkers, you know how I feel about you. You know how I feel about you. I, Mom, by the way, I like met some guy in the middle of the street the other day. He's like, Gary Vaynerchuk? You know, when I was like, yeah, what? You know, I was super pumped. Met him, yeah. I'm a lurker. I don't know why you lurkers, and so many of you, and this is probably the 30th time, but I'm like, I gotta bring this up in a show. Lurkers, let's have a little heart to heart. I don't know why you think it's cool when we meet. You're like, I'm a lurker. I'm like, screw you. Get in here, lurkers. They think I wanna hug them. I want them in, Mott. They will bite you. All right, this wine is nice. Um, I'm totally into the kind of uh, Mexican Southern Hemisphere food play on this wine. I could see myself loving this wine with, you know, avocado uh, uh, dip, you know, just kind of like artichoke, uh, you know, kind of like, definitely like, um, I just like it. I, I just feel like spiciness, beans, there's there's something that definitely is pushing me towards that cuisine. Uh, I like this wine. I don't like it as much as the La Junta. I, I think Jay Miller overscored this wine. I'm gonna go 87 plus, but it's solid. Well made, and for 12 bones, nothing to sneeze at. No hachu. No, you don't need to do that. You need to say, hum, 
and that made no sense, sorry. But you know, the fact of the matter is it's a good wine, but I think the La Yuta wins the Tarantis Challenge, and, uh, and uh, I'm very impressed by it, 10 bones. I thought it was very well made. That's all I got. Mom, Dad, happy 35th anniversary. I love you guys with all my heart. I find it completely fascinating that I'm born nine months, basically, I'm on the 14th, so nine months and one day short of nine months to the day you guys were married. That's the old school stuff, Mott. 35 years and the fact that you guys are only in your mid 50s, you know, you've been together a long time. I love you guys. Mom, clearly, you are a saint. Uh, and uh, and uh, I'm just so proud of you guys. You've done so much for me. You know, I just hope that, you know, this is what I love about the internet. I know my great, 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 great grandkids will watch this. Great, 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 great grandkids, your great, 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 great grandparents were the best people ever. What they did for our family coming over here, being that brave and grinding it out in those early years and what they still do to this day, how they live for their children is something all of us could learn from. And uh, mom, dad, I love you with all my heart. Congratulations on having two grandkids this year and uh, well, in the last 12 months and um, I love you with all my heart. Question of the day. Um, what do you think of when you hear the word or, let me phrase that, the number 35. You, with a little bit of me, we are changing the wine world. Gotta get used to it, it's so close you miss it, whether they like it or not.